that you wouldn't check them and check it out because there's a common saying that's going around, right? Now, it says if you're dealing with business or anybody else with any type of money, if you can't figure out the person being finessed, then bitch, it's you, okay? Now, Chief Sosa, he is being accused of finessing a couple white boys in some fraternity at Auburn University, okay? Basically, and if you guys don't know, because I went to Rutgers University, they never had this much money, none of these fraternities, but... There's some big colleges with big fraternity house that could actually book rappers. They don't be like, yo, oh, let's all take a road trip and go see the rapper. They're like, fuck that. Let's book the rapper and let him come perform in our living room while we're fucking bitches over the balcony, right? Now they do it to Waka Flocka. They book all these rappers to come at their school in their frat house to perform. That's just that other level of richness in your blood, okay? Rich nigga shit. Okay, well, not rich nigga shit because a bunch of white boys, right? Now, they booked Chief Sosa. For $22,000, right? Now, when they booked him, and if you guys don't know how it works, you book somebody, a lot of times you got to give it a deposit to make sure you're legit, and it kind of also locks in the date for the person you're booking. So it's usually about half you give down, okay? Now, they said they gave $12,000 to Chief Keith. Chief Keith was supposed to receive the rest when he came and performed, and this was supposed to happen in April, okay? Basically, they said Chief Keith did not show up. Now... Here's the thing, because they're suing Chief Keefe, and they're saying, and they're suing a couple other people, and I'll tell you why. But they're saying, we want $175,000. Now, instantly, I'm saying this, goddamn. Even if Chief Keefe finessed you for $12,000, why the fuck are you talking about $175,000 that you want now, okay? Now, they're saying, hey, the amount of stuff that we paid for, other than the money we gave him, yeah, we gave him $12,000, but you got to remember, Chief Keefe got demands. When we were bringing Chief Keefe out here, Chief Keefe said, listen, you ain't going to fly just me out. You ain't going to just have one hotel room. You got to fly my entire gang out. I mean, Chief Keefe did say, gang in this bitch, gang in this bitch. You thought you was going to have a, p- a party or a concert without his gang in this bitch? Nigga, please. So pretty much, there was about seven or eight dudes. They had to fly out. They had to get all of their uh, stuff in order and also get them all expensive hotel rooms, right? They had to spend money on uh, promotion. They had to set up travel, this and third. Not only that, they had a huge expensive rider, and that's what they get backstage or before or whatever. Uh, so they wanted bottles of water, Red Bulls, and I know that doesn't cost a lot, but uh, Remy Ma, Ciroc, uh, Moet, chicken wings, chicken fingers. So it's a lot of stuff is catered, okay? You just got to think about it. It's catered, okay? Now, if you think about it, right, they're saying that they spend money on promotion, people are supposed to come, and because Chief Keefe did not show up, that's why they're getting this number of 175. That's the damages, now, here's the thing, because I peep game real quick. Now, the story is actually coming from uh, Chicago Sun-Times, and I could instantly tell you this is probably not Chief Keith's fault. Somebody else finessed these kids and probably is blaming it on Chief Keith. Now, Chief Keith just named as a defendant. He's the name we recognize, but there's a couple other names in there. Now, if you don't understand what's going on, right, basically, a bunch of dudes tried to book Chief Keith, but they couldn't reach out to Chief Keith directly, so they reached out to an agency who could do it. Now, that agency reached out to another agency. Then that agency, the second agency, was supposed to have the direct line of Chief Keefe. Now, there's a good possibility that Chief Keefe never even saw the fucking money because I've seen this before. Now, usually what happens is, yeah, the money, they'll say, oh, yeah, it's 22000 for Chief Keefe. But in reality, Chief Keefe wants eighteen. Everybody takes 1000 It takes 1000 You pass it on. Somebody takes 1000 Pass it on. Pass it on to the real guy who knows Chief Keefe. Then he takes like 500 Then Chief Keefe actually gets 18000 That's how it goes. Okay. But they're saying they want a lot of fucking money, okay? They're saying that the booking collective, they want some money from them. They're saying, and that's uh, one of the agencies, the middlemen. That's what I'm saying. I I hate fucking middlemen, okay? Uh, Middlemen are the worst. But Young Fly Entertainment and the booking collective are two people that were the middlemen between this whole thing. I want to bet, and I'm almost sure that Chief Keefe... Didn't probably even know about this. Apparently that day Chief Keefe was in the studio making music. I'm pretty sure he would get off his lazy ass just to make 18 racks or 22 racks or whatever the case is. Just to perform for a bunch of kids that all they want to hear is bitches love salsa. So it sounds fishy already however the lawsuit is filed. Which means if Chief Keefe does act like he's acted with a lot of other lawsuits if he does not respond... He'll probably lose. And he'll probably be defaulted on that, that lawsuit and he'll have to pay. That's the reason why you got to show up in court, you got to defend yourself, especially when you got the name and people will throw anything at the wall hoping it sticks, okay? So, get in the comment box, make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe, what do you guys think about this? Basically, a fraternity 
from Auburn University. And somebody needs to be slapped in that goddamn fraternity council or whatever. Like, if you're booking Chief Keith, Chief Keith, Chief Keith, with the money from the university or even alumni money, you need to do something better with your life. Woody Jackie Dumb is going to call Mox Mitchell. Guys, like, definitely subscribe. Hello.